the Warriors, they have a big four, big three, whatever you want to say. If you had to take one player out, which player would you want to take out? Marky Mark, what do you think? Uh, first of all, let's make it legit big four because I, I feel like uh, there is a, a, a big notion of that they, they have a big three with Curry, Thompson, and Durant, but I feel like without Draymond, they don't have that defensive identity and that mm -hmm. defensive anchor that they needed to kind of be a championship contender team. So, but to me, it's it's uh, Clay Thompson that I would I would take out in various reasons. First of all, it's because I want um, Kevin Durant's the best player, like no doubt about it. Correct. He can do offensively and defensively. He's he can do both. But I feel like in terms of the 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 chemistry, the personnel, and the makeup of the Warriors team. Uh, Clay Thompson could be someone that they won't have, but still won't lose that uh, flow and that motion that they have in their game because they have a lot of off guards that can kind of replace or kind of make up for what Clay Thompson has. Like with Patrick McCaw, that they have just the rookies playing really right. well, Ian Clark, Sean Livingston, and Iguodala. Whereas uh, Durant's play is irreplaceable in terms of just the length that he has and the fact that he can play that three, four, five position at times. And Curry because of the fact that he's the best shooter and the fact that his handles and his playmaking ability is just, you know, it's something that you won't find really in the so NBA. If you if you would take out Clay Thompson, who is there anyone on the team that you replace right now? Or would you sign someone? Well, uh, what do you think, Greg? I don't know. Maybe uh, he, I, he I'd say the same thing. Um, people underrate Clay Thompson's defense because yeah. mm -hmm. he has that length and he can match up with a lot of the scoring twos. He matches up with James Harden a lot and he showed how, we, how well he does against him. But uh, I would also agree with Mark. I take out Clay because offensively, they won't miss the beat. Defensively, it might make a bit of a difference. Uh, I don't think I'd replace anyone and it has to be a trade. Like there have, have to, to be a defensive too. Yeah, it right. wouldn't it, like Tony Allen would fit the bill perfectly yeah. for their team. I would say actually would, an athletic big. If, if oh, athletic big, yeah. Uh, and then do we play bigger? Mm -hmm. Essentially, it, it's not so much of an athletic big. Doesn't have to be. Uh, Draymond Green is an athletic big that yeah, right, he yeah. can play different. So then we put right? Durant at the two. Yeah. Someone that can, well, like they could play uh, Curry at a two. Mm, like the fact that they have a point forward with Draymond Green mm -hmm. that can run mm -hmm. and and basically run the point guard for them, right? I would say a passing big man that that can defend, right? I would mm -hmm. say someone like uh, Hal Horford, mm -hmm. right? I would fit the bill because he knows how to play system basketball, right? And he can do those little things, right? Marc Gasol defense. would be perfect. Marc Gasol, right? He's yeah. too, pa he's just, he's too slow, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think Al Horford can yeah. run with him more. Someone be like fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> someone like uh, uh, that uh, Bogut was able to do. Uh, I don't know. Uh, New Orleans Noel has been mm -hmm. on the trade talks right mm -hmm. now. I would say someone like that or uh, someone that, like, um, I was thinking of another player, but uh, I think New Orleans Noel in that long that lines, because he's more of like an Andrew Bogut, younger, more yeah. agile player, right? So, or as injured as much though. And yeah. How, yeah. how would this theory, because on ESPN's first take, they, would, they were talking about this topic that I brought up. Yeah. Uh, Stephen A. Smith, even though he, he doesn't want this to happen, but if it ever did, he would take out Stephen Curry. And like, what what would you think about that? That was after, I I, I think that was after the Clay's 60 point game. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It's hard not to. So like the, the difference is Steph Curry is a two time MVP. Yeah. And Clay Thompson isn't. So yeah. would you keep the MVP or someone who can score 60 points once in a while? I think, I think Clay Thompson, like, he's a better defender than Steph Curry. I feel like not? I yeah. feel like they're yeah, overhyping sure. the fact that uh, that uh, Clay Thompson is a great defender, but they're under they're underestimating the fact that Curry has improved defensively, oh, yeah. and they're still undermining the fact that he's really good with his hands. He has really good hands in terms of you know getting in the passing lane and getting steals, and he's really good t uh, team defender. He almost he almost reminds me of a better Steve Nash back in the day when he was. He, was, he wasn't a great one-on-one -on -one defender, but he was a great team yeah. defender, mm -hmm. right? He knew how to position himself so that if he does get beat, the person goes towards the help defense, where Draymond Green and the Kevin Durant has been really good at. Yeah, that's so their he, issue this year, he has too. that bas basketball IQ in terms of defensive. Yeah. He might not have the physical you know, uh, uh, capability to defend point guards like Westbrook or now Harden playing the point guard kind of mm -hmm. in a sense, or Damian Lillard, uh, but he crazy. has... And that's where Clay Thompson comes in yeah, to defend exactly. them. But like, yeah, and either way, if they ever were to take out one of the big four, they still have that that like scoring power out of the other three guys, and their whole roster is 
They're crazy with scoring. Exactly. It, it, which just feels to me like it's hard to take Curry. Like I, as much as I understand where Stephen A is coming from in terms of uh, the defensive liability that Steph Curry could be because he's smaller, right? Right. He could get posted up by bigs with whether it's a mismatch. Yeah, I feel like he's just focusing on their shooting. On the shooting yeah. and the size of Steph Curry. Right. Where, but the fact that his quickness and the, his ball handling and the fact that you have to chase him all over the floor, not just because he can, he, you know, he can play off guard, but on the ball too. Whereas, like, Clay is more of actually an off guard. We're running through screens. <laughs>